Staying at home, turn off the phone, I will listen to you. You lay in the sheets, you hold on to me like I'm already gone. And whisper your words like secrets written. Look up above, the sunlight seems like it is gonna break in, and something ain't right, yeah, something ain't right, oh, something ain't right. G'day guys, welcome back to the show. Today we are on Yul Beauty, we are fishing solo. So I've got the big game gear today, I've got the Chiagras, I've got the Teradies, got the Saragosas, Got the Oshi jiggers, and yeah, we are fishing for marlin. So I just stopped at the fad, and we'll put a couple of lures out here. I don't have live bait yet, but yeah, we'll put a couple of lures out here, have a troll around, see if we can get anything, and throw a couple of lures, and then we're gonna head wide up to the shelf and try and catch my first ever marlin on your beauty. So I have been wanting to do this with a mate, but I asked so many mates yesterday if they could come. It is a work day, and yeah, no one can come, so I guess. I feel like it was the universe telling me just to go solo. It'll be absolutely sick to get one on my boat or just, just in general. They're amazing animals and yeah, hopefully we can hook up. So fingers crossed, we can get a marlin. Phew. Just had the first run. It only went for a second. It must have just hit the lure and not hooked up. But yeah, we'll find about 100 meters, 50 meters from the fat. Another lap of that area. Definitely fish here. Might have just been a little kingfish or a little dolphin fish. But it's good they're hungry. The water. Holds no water. No water. No water. No water. I found bait on the surface just here. So we'll see if we can get a couple, because I do want a live bait. If I can't get any bait, I just use lures. So they're down 50 meters. So we go down five colors. Oh, we got them. We got them straight away. Hell yeah, boys. This could be the start. Yana, there I go. Only small, but that's fine. That is a slimy mackerel, perfect bait for Marlin, so we'll put the live bait tank on and we'll keep it alive. The Oshia jigger, what I'm using right now is a jigging reel and rod setup. I do jig on it, but when I'm fishing like this, I put the live bait rig on just on the snap swivel that I've got on there. And then because it's got so much winching power, when there's a full string of slimies, I don't really worry about it. I'll just come straight up. Oh, I got two then again, but one fell off. They're just under the boat, just there. There's every everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, they're tiny, but anyway, it's better than no bait. That's a bit better. Cool. Righto, we have got baits out. I've got two liveys on and I've got this flasher that kind of attracts the fish. You can see how much it's flashing. So hopefully the marlin comes in and sees the flash and then sees these two liveys a bit further behind. And this is meant to be like the school of bait and then these guys are a bit weaker and they're staying a bit behind the actual school and they're gonna go for those ones. I put rubber bands in the two live baits in their nose. I didn't really know what I was doing. I probably should have have a look on YouTube first <laughs> about how to rig a live bait for Marlin. But anyway, we're out here now. No other boat's near me, but I heard on the radio they were complaining about not being able to find live bait. So I was pretty happy because there was just bait everywhere where I went. I might even go back there because I mean, find the bait, find the birds, find the fish. That's what I think. Even though I was in a bit shallower, I feel like with that much bait, there has to be fish eating them. So I'm just going to go out a bit deeper and then kind of cross the shelf, zigzag in and out, and then head back towards kind of where I found the bait. The thing with live bait, trolling live baits, they gotta stay alive. So you can see how slow I'm moving. 
I mean, it's going to take ages to get anywhere. So I'm going to try live baits for a bit and then I might head back towards where I found that bait and just hope and pray that there's a marlin. But anyway, keep your fingers crossed for me because I'll need it. Hopefully I don't donut today. And yeah, wish me luck. How is the day? Even if you don't catch fish, what a cracker day to be out here. Not a breath of wind yet, and blue water, blue skies, it just doesn't get better than this. Well, it's 10.30 now in the morning. Haven't really seen much. I might have marked a couple of fish. And yeah, I saw a few dolphins, but I haven't actually seen a marlin yet. There's a few boats close by, so I must be in the right area. I've got the harness and the GoPro ready to go in case I do hook up, because I am solo. I might put lures on soon, but we'll see how the live baits go for a couple more hours, probably. And yeah, fingers crossed. I've got a $200 sounder, so it's not the best for this type of fishing, but I've got a mark down about 30 meters. Let's hope that's a marlin. He's gonna come up. There's so much bait there, so 50 meters. You can see the flash, it looks like a strobe light. Looks like my high beams. It's just so bright. So, if there's a marlin. Oh, that is massive. If there is marlin on there, I reckon we'll be able to see that. And it might come up. We might have a dolly on. I think we've got a dolly on. We are on. This might be a marlin. Oh boy, we're on. What the hell, I just thought we hooked a dolly, but if it's a dolly, it's massive. Oh, it's a, it's a marlin, holy oh, shit. Oh my god, it's a marlin! It's a marlin! We on! <laughs> He's going skits! Yeah boys! Yeah boys! We on! Oh yeah! Yeah baby! He's going skits! Yeah boys! Yeah, boys! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Oh my god! We are, what the hell? Yeah! Oh, no way! How's that run? How's that run? Yeah! Your beauty is quite solo. Look at him go! This is what it's all about! Your beauty is sight solo! Ew. Oh my god! That is insane! Woo! He's taken so much line because I can't really chase it. This is my second ever marlin, first on your beauty. My first marlin didn't jump once because it was tail wrapped and that one went skits, which was sick. I only got the GoPro footage of it because I'm pitching solo, can't really zoom in on him. This is the Tiago 50 wide from Shimano. I just got 24 kilo line on it. Now I've got a 150 pound leader. And yeah, live bait got him. If we lose him now, I don't even mind. Honestly, just knowing I hooked a marlin on my boat solo is mental to me. My back's killing, my legs are killing, my arms are killing. Oh. But I cannot complain right now. We are hooked up. I'm gonna watch this back, I already know. 
and when I'll scream it at the start, I'm gonna look like a biggest dickhead. I always think that, but you just can't that much stoke when it's happening live. I just can't not scream when a good fish gets on the boat, even if it's a big snapper, no matter what it is, the stoke you feel hooking a good fish is just insane. And whenever I watch my YouTubes back, I feel a bit stupid from screaming and stuff, but you just don't realize that stoke until it's you hooking up and you hook up to that big fish. And I think most fishermen would understand where I'm coming from. Hopefully when we're getting close to the boat, it'll be pretty chilled. I don't really want to <laughs> have to freaking fight a marlin solo on the side of my boat. I think it's a stripe, I'm not 100% sure though. Stripe marlin, but we'll get a proper idea on it when we get it close, if we get it close. There he is. Anyone out of boat in the water fish? There he is. He's definitely tail wrapped, I think. He's caught on the back or something. Yeah, he's caught. Hey! Yeah! Hey! Hey! We got a stripe on, 100% of There he goes! Whew! Hey! Hey! Oh yeah! Look at him go! What an amazing fish! There he goes. He's not happy, yeah. What a weapon. Hey! What a weapon. Here he goes. He's just burning another 50 meters, 100 meters since I got him right next to the boat. I'm knackered. I am just knackered. When I hooked up, I actually saw a fish trap and I was going towards that to hopefully get a dolphin fish. That's why I initially thought it was a dolphin fish, because I was right next to the fish trap, the floating boys. It was a marlin boat, which just caught me off guard. I was like, this is either a marlin or a big, big dolphin fish, because there was just weight on the end. And then I saw him jump and I couldn't believe it. Might as well say this now while we're hooked up. If you like these videos and want to support even further than just watching, the Patreon link will be in the description. And merchandise, the shirts, hoodies, hats, etc. will also be in the description. If you guys just watching, it means the world to me, but if you go and want to go further and support it even further, then jump onto the Patreon or buy some merch. Support the channel. Oh, this is Heck. He's hooked. Yeah, he's not tail wrapped, which is good. Nice stripe. Come on, no. Come up to the surface again. Uh, I'm bent over. <laughs> He's bending me over. Oh my god, I wish I had the second part of my harness right here. <laughs> There he is. There he is, boys. There he is.
Whatever he's struck Marlon, he's still lit up as. We got him. We got him, boys. Solo strike marlin on your beauty. It doesn't get better than that. Yeah. I'm gonna get this rope around him. myself if I haven't earned your like comment and subscribe <laughs> I don't know what will because that is mental <laughs> yeah! first mile for your beauty well done Harry good shit so we're just gonna swim him for a bit then we'll tag him I don't have a tag pole so we're just gonna have to tag him with this little thing if we can manage to do it See, I'm just gonna have to let him go untagged. I literally can't do this. I'm gonna cut the hook. It's not very far down his throat, but solo is gonna be hard to get it out and it will just rust out. So I'll cut it as close as I can to his head. All right, got that. This was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Thank you, Marlon, for the fight. You're going home untagged, but thank you very much. I'm going to have to invest in a tag pole because <laughs> I just could not get that tag in. So we'll drive straight for a bit, get the water through his gills, hopefully he swims off. I don't really want him dying on me. It was a long fight, but it's hard solo. He's still kicking his tail. He's pretty lit up still, so hopefully he goes. There he goes. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Stripe Marlin on your beauty by myself. Oh my God, I'm speechless. Like I said before, if that hasn't heard me, your like, your comment and subscribe. I don't know what will because that was hard, but I'm so thankful I got the chance to wind that in. Oh, it all came together. We finally did it. And Marlon on my boat, that's all I wanted. Got him on a live slimy mackerel. Circle hook. We did it. I can die happy. I can die happy. <laughs> Your beauty might not be the prettiest boat in the world, but I've caught yellowfin tuna, bluefin tuna, albacore tuna, and striped marlin on the boat. Holy moly. She is a good girl. She does not let me down. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know what to say, honestly. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting because it makes these days all worthwhile and I can put this video up and see you guys as stoked as I am to land that fish. Oh, wow. Anyway, we finally done that, so I'm gonna head into a fad and try and catch some dinner. Dolphin fish, maybe. I would be keen to go again, but I don't know. I am just literally buggered. That was about an hour. No back support whatsoever, <laughs> but it all came good in the end. On the trusty Shimano Tiagra 50 wide, when it comes to game fishing, Shimano just does not let you down. I was given that thing, lock drag, and yeah, it didn't let me down. You guys saw how bent the rod was over the side so many times, and it just did not let me down. Wow. Anyway, this, the boat's a mess, but we did it. Hell yeah. I've got one of the little slimies. It's going to come in handy today. Just pin it through the back. And then we go past the pad and hopefully we'll hook up. I thought it was a, a, a slimy. Slimy. It's almost big as the slot. So that is a dolphin fish, that's what we want. Just bigger. Whoa! <laughs> See you buddy. Yep. Only small. Got him on the stick bait. Oh he's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Got it on the stick bait though. Hooked him in the tummy, I think. It was a bit bigger than the last one. The hooks have smashed him. I'm giving this live in the last drift and now I'm going to head in because it's just hard to fish this without a driver when it's so windy. I was with my friend the other day and I was asking so many people if they want to come fishing but people were working or doing other things and I was just like to myself well I'm gonna just have to go by myself I feel like it's the universe telling me to go by myself and catch one by myself and that's exactly what I did and yeah it was definitely harder <laughs> with one person than just having a second person to drive but catching it by myself is just a whole other level of stoke like it was so much harder but after doing all that, fighting for an hour, no gimbal strap, and just doing everything, I'm just over the moon. Like, it just doesn't get better than that uh, in my eyes. And yeah, finally ticked off Marlin in your beauty. Absolutely stoked. Got a couple of dollies at the end. And yeah, what an awesome day. Thank you guys for watching. Probably one of my personal favorite episodes just because of how everything happened. My boat, just me and just you guys watching. Absolutely amazing. If you like this episode, hit the like in the comment and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, there must be something wrong with you because this was just an insane day. Anyway, if you want any merch, like this hat and like some shirts and jumpers that I wear, www.offshoreadventures.com.au. If you want to become a patron to support the channel and make it easier for me to be able to do these episodes, the link will be in the description. But yeah. Anyway, if you just watch it and enjoy it, I'm stoked. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, you beauty. She's a good girl, she doesn't let me down. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you to the ocean because this is the most magical place in the world in my eyes. Anyway, I guess I'll see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Ew. Marlin fishing sucks. Well, today it does anyway. But, still got my fingers crossed.